let's focus in on uh, another one, uh, which is uh, Reliance Infra. In fact, the entire Reliance group of stocks is doing well in trade right now. Reliance Infra is up 6% as we speak. A good time then to get in Lalit Jalan, CEO at Reliance Infra, to talk to us about a big order win for the company, the 7,000 crore uh, new ceiling in Mumbai. This is uh, the Varsova ceiling, uh, of course, that we're talking about, the Varsova Barna ceiling project that has been won by uh, Reliance Infra and Astaldi JV Consortium. Mr. Jalan, uh, congratulations on the order win. Uh, of course, uh, just uh, give us a little more uh, details uh, over here about the project, about the execution timeline and the road ahead really for this one. Yeah, good afternoon Dipanshu and uh, thank you for having me on the call. <coughs> this is the Bandra Varsova Sea Link. This will have, uh, <coughs> this is a 17.2 kilometer Sea uh, uh, Link and it will have uh, four connections to the mainland. Uh, bes uh, so besides uh, Bandra and Varsova, there will be two other uh, connectivity with the mainland. This is for fast dispersal of traffic uh, in this very congested uh, uh, suburban Mumbai. The total project that we have won, uh, we have won at a price of 7,000 crores and uh, uh, this has to be done over 60 months from the date of letter of award which we have just received. Uh, we have started the pre-work now, uh, our detailed design etc. all under, uh, we have already done it. And we expect physical construction to start immediately after monsoon. Right. Uh, after monsoon is when the construction will start. Uh, was the bid cost reasonable in your opinion? And also, uh, I mean, I know it's a, a five-year execution timeline, but any calculations on what the minimum toll is going to be? No, so uh, let me just uh, explain. We are an EPC contractor. The tolling, etc., is not to be done by us. So... Tolling uh, will be done separately by government of <coughs> Maharashtra through their agencies and the toll rates etc. will be decided by them. Nothing, those things have not been decided today. Point taken, point taken. What? Uh... It's an EPC contract which we will complete over the next, uh, we estimate uh, to be lower than five years. Mm -hmm. Five years is the time mm -hmm. and the total revenue over that period will be 7,000 crores. Understood. Uh, any uh, uh, indications on the margin profile for this contract? We have uh, always guided on a 10% EBITDA margin right. uh, for our projects hmm. and uh, for a project of this size, which is a complex uh, project, uh, we are targeting margins in excess of that. Fair enough. So higher than usual and uh, safe to presume than over 10%. Also, uh, with this order, where does your total EPC order book now stand at? Yes. With this order, our total order book uh, in EPC uh, stands to 27,000 crores and this order, we have most of these orders we have won over the last two years and these orders have been won across a wide variety of verticals. So in the transportation sector, we have won orders in the metro space, uh, railways and road space. Uh, in the power and process sector, we have won uh, in the regular power sector, uh, we have also won in nuclear power contract and we have also won an FGD contract with NTPC and that's uh, part of a very big thing. Uh, in the heavy civil, we have won tunnel projects and we have also won this mega infra project, uh, uh, the Bandava Sova Sea Link. So we are working on several verticals and we are very bullish about the prospect uh, on the EPC space. Also, uh, Mr. Jalan, uh, just before we wrap this up, uh, railway opportunity, uh, especially in the EPC space, how big is that? Uh, are there any plans or targets uh, around that as well? Yeah, so on the railway space, besides uh, the regular railway contracts, which is uh, uh, which we, we, we are participating, uh, there is also the bullet train, which is a 110,000 crore project for which we are, uh, uh, for which we are actively uh, uh, planning to participate. Then there are rapid uh, uh, trains that uh, government plans to build between uh, metro cities for which uh, we, are, uh, we are tying up with uh, global majors. So it's a huge opportunity if you see uh, the government had announced uh, 850,000 crore uh, capital expenditure on the railways and this is besides uh, the projects like bullet trains. 
All right, uh, Mr. Jalan, thanks so much for joining in today. And of course, uh, good, good luck and uh, congratulations on this uh, order win. That's Reliance Infra for you. It's the top gainer on the BSE mid-cap index, up 6.5% as we speak. And like I said, the entire Reliance Group of Stocks is buzzing in trade right now. Reliance Power is up 5%. Reliance Capital is up 3%. Reliance Sipon Life is up almost 3%. Reliance Communications is up over 2.5% as well. So entire Reliance Group of Stocks is on the move uh, right now. and Reliance